Welcome to the Performance Manager version update video for version 2.7. In this video, we will go through some of the changes and improvements made to Performance Manager. Let's walk through the interface and highlight some of the new changes. At the very top, we can see the application window controls are a little bit larger and better sized for touch. Below the title bar, we can see that we have moved modes to the top and given each mode its own ribbon. This has focused the ribbon functions, better placing the right tools where you need them and move the unnecessary things out of the way, making system setup within Performance Manager clearer. Just like with most applications with a ribbon interface, we can double click or right click the title bar to show or hide the ribbon to increase space for the venue canvas. Other general UI changes include improvements to the zoom behavior. When adding new objects to the venue, we now zoom out to show the whole venue instead of zooming in to highlight what was just added. Additionally, we now better maintain zoom and positioning of arrays when modes are changed. Creating front fill systems has traditionally been accomplished in add templates mode. A one point template was how we got to inside to outside wiring. With this update, we can now add front fill systems by dropping in the desired speakers, choosing distributed fill, and it will default to inside to outside wiring. If you want to change the circuiting plan to be from left to right, you can change it in the speaker preference panel here. Creating custom amp racks is now simpler. When a custom rack is created, we no longer need to pre-assign bandpass labels. They can be set by default to none, and when we drag and drop assignments to them, they will automatically label themselves. We have improved the functionality of two-channel amplifiers when assigning speakers to two-channel amplifiers. You can now drag and drop any bandpass assignments from speakers, or you can drag amplifier channels to speaker bandpasses. Additionally, just as with the four channel amplifiers, you can now shift left click an array and drag the entire array at a time to an amp rack to be assigned amp channels, or you can select an entire amp rack and drag it into an array. If you have imported an electronically steered subwoofer array from LAC and need to modify the amplifier assignments, you no longer need to worry about having to re-enter the delay values to the new amplifier circuits, as Performance Manager will track these changes for you. One of the great features of HiQnet is the ability for your hardware to be assigned and remember its virtual rack location information. Just as you might physically label your rack with a name or number, we can also persistently label racks in their firmware, making matching and associating to the real world much easier. To rename a rack without having to clear it out first, you can highlight it in the discovered or online device list and click this new button here. Group editing mode has been improved. We have moved the controls to create and manage groups to the ribbon. This keeps the functions related to the mode more in line with the rest of the design of the application, moving the various buttons that did exist to the same place we'd look for it in other modes. If we want to reorder or rename factory or user groups in the left toolbar, we can drag them in the order we prefer. If we right click on the group name or hit F2, we can also change the names. The mute protect function has been moved from the toolbar. It can now be found here, just above the mute controls for system mute toggles. And it is visible for any mode with system mute controls. Performance Manager 2.7 also addresses an issue where in some cases, 4x3500 amplifiers would display a persistent message to clean the air filters after the amplifier had hit a certain amount of uptime. This condition was addressed and an error should no longer be displayed. As we continue to improve and refine our software solutions, we encourage you to pass along any additional questions or feature requests. 
If you would like to find more education resources, please be sure to click subscribe on our YouTube channel and check out jblpro.com edu for links to additional resources, training calendars, and more videos. Thanks for watching.